What's up guys, if you want to know how to annex puppets the fastest way possible on Hearts of Iron, make sure to watch the video all the way through and I'm even going to give you guys a bonus tip at some point in the video to teach you how to annex puppets in around a month. Now, on to the video. Now before we start talking about ways to lower the autonomy, you need to know the levels because the higher the level, the more political power and building costs it's going to take to actually annex them. The way you can find this is go ahead up here to your political tab, go to manage subjects, and here you will see the list of all your puppets. Now the way that this goes is dominion, or dominion, whatever you want to call it, then you have a colony, and then after a colony it's a puppet, integrated puppet, and then you're just straight up annexed. It's interesting how they have this listed it goes from the highest down to the lowest you can actually get so that's a pretty cool way to uh, remember this the higher they are on this list the more difficult it is the lower the easier now here's the first main thing you can do to pretty much lower the autonomy and it's over time you can go over to your here to your national focus go down here to suppress subjects and use this i don't recommend it though as it takes an incredibly long time and i really don't think it's a good idea or a good decision to actually do this one it takes so long it is not worth it instead i recommend to do one of these either build forts sieves and mills see if you're going to annex a puppet and you're needing the factories or whatever reason Think about it like this, you go ahead and get some of the building power off of the factories themselves, if I remember correctly, because I haven't played as a major with puppets in a long time, but if I remember correctly, you get some of the building power off of the factories inside of that territory. So one thing you can do if you're just going to annex them, build some mills, build some sieves, whatever, or to go and speed things along a little quicker, build, build forts. It, as crazy as it sounds, and it seems like a stupid idea, if you build forts, they finish around every few days and the building power makes their autonomy go down it's kind of weird i don't understand why it works this way but as you can see it's dropping at around one a day so that's one really cool way of uh, uh doing that it's just building forts and i think it works the same way with just regular factories but i still think that's a pretty cool method you can do oh king george died in my opinion one of the fastest and easiest ways to actually annex a puppet I have the puppet here of Germany, which is a puppet of France, and what you're going to do is very simply just send them a ton of guns if you're landlocked. If you're landlocked with a nation, you can send them a ton of guns or whatever, and surprisingly it doesn't cost any convoys. It doesn't really take any convoys, you can just send them whatever you want to send them, and eventually the autonomy gets so low, and we even have 31,000 guns. So we'll send 31,000 guns and the reason you can send them whatever you want as long as you're going to annex them is because you're going to get it back the following month anyway so like i said you can literally send them everything you have and you're just going to get it back in around a month anyway so it's really not that big of an issue all right so now for me to show you guys that trick i was telling you guys about earlier this is the number one way i have seen to really be able to annex a puppet in the fastest way possible and you can if you do it correctly probably annex them in a month okay for some reason convoys are the number one thing to use to annex a nation okay as you can see we have how many was it uh 683 so we're just going to go ahead and send all of our convoys over there to them all of them lowers at 478 points so we're just going to like i said send everything over there to them everything everything and i'm even going to go ahead and get rid of some of these guys get rid of these guys there we go so now we have all of our convoys available and if we go over here we're going to lower 600 points we only need 477 so probably around the end of this month we're going to be able to completely and 100 percent annex them three days two days one day mm. Okay, they're there. So, as I said, that should have lowered them enough. What do you know? Oh, we only need four more. <laughs> okay, well, after we get this four more, I'm just going to build a few forts really quick. Because, you know, why not? Looks like the AI got a little happy with building some stuff. And... Come on. Come on. Sometimes it bugs out a little bit and you have to open and close it. Boom. Just like that, British Malaya belongs to the United Kingdom. And because we annexed them, 
we should be getting most of our convoys back. Oh, wait, I was wrong. Ooh. Okay, apparently you don't get all your convoys back anymore. There used to be a bug on here where you would be able to get all of your convoys back if you were to do this. So you don't get your convoys back. Make sure you understand that. But still, convoys are the quickest way possible to actually go about annexing a nation, in my opinion. It's just so much faster, it's so much easier, and you can send as many convoys as you want to any nation. And since they're a puppet, they can't deny you. So, pretty much now we own most of the world's supply of aluminum, rubber, you know, whatever. We pretty much own the world's supply now. So guys, I know this is a very quick and sloppy seeming video. I am incredibly tired lately. And as you guys know, I've been trying to pop out content once a day. And last night, it's just... I was not able to get this video completely done the way I wanted to, so I want to apologize about that. But hopefully this video still gave you guys some pretty cool tips and some really great information for anyone out there playing that wants to annex their puppets early on. Just remember, the number one way is to send them convoys, but apparently you don't get them all back. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait a minute. No, we did get some of them back. We got some of them back, because I remember we had nothing, but now we have or we had like 50 and now we get 229 we got like a quarter back whatever anyway guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time stay awesome